Good night, blessings everyone. Hello. Hello, hello. Um, so I am going to start this live off with an apology to my family. I want to apologize to my mother, to my son, to my sister, to my niece, to my friends. I, um, I detached myself from the people that love me the most for for a long time um, I owe you guys the biggest apology um, what I've been going through the average person doesn't go through that in a whole lifetime um, and I've been keeping it a secret for a long long time um, hiding abuse is a full-time job you have to detach yourself from your loved ones so they don't know and I did that for a long time I protected someone that abused me for a long time tonight is about my healing tonight is about me taking my power back and no longer protecting the person that has been abusing me. Um, I'm ashamed because I let it go on way longer than it should have. I'm ashamed of myself because I went back so many times. All the reasons that I went back, it, it wasn't good enough. They weren't good reasons. I went back because me going back meant that I loved you or I was proving that I loved you by coming back or that I loved the kids or just trying to prove people wrong that I'm not a gold digger, that I really am here for you. But all of that stops now. The lies, the protecting people, it stops now. Tonight is about my healing and me getting to a better place. And it starts with me being honest with myself and the people around me. I, I have been I have been through a whole whole lot of things. And it's a really, really tough thing to keep that a secret. So I, I wanted to start out by apologizing to my family for you know, disconnecting myself and pretending that I was okay and going ghost and not answering FaceTimes. Um, the manipulation and everything, it stops now. I'm putting an end, I'm putting an end to it. Um, the bashing, the slandering of my name, people inboxing me and telling me that I really didn't love the person and I was there for this and that reason every time that I left it was for a damn good reason and if me leaving because I'm being abused means that I don't love you then so be it I am going to love myself more than that person um imagine imagine having to hide your bruises and your being battered from your family imagine after being abused and assaulted you have to console the person that hurt you because now they're they're distraught they they want to harm themselves so now you're you don't even have the chance to heal you don't even have the chance to be upset you have to now console that person Imagine being bruised and battered after imagine going through all of those things and you still have to have sex. You still expected to be delightful, like there's nothing wrong with you when your face is unrecognizable. Imagine letting people know in your circle what's going on with you. And their first question is, well, what did you do? 
as if there was anything that I could have done to deserve that. That's disgusting to me. That's disgusting because it didn't happen to me once, twice, three times, four times. It happened too many times, too many times. So when you guys, the viewers and the fans think that you know me or what I've been through, have some respect for yourself. Have some respect as a woman, as a mother or father. I'm somebody's mother and I didn't deserve any of that. So how dare you ask me what I did? There's a lot of people contacting me about a lot of crazy things. I've never ever cheated in my relationship. Not one time, not one time. So when you get caught doing what you're doing, your first defense is to turn it around on me. You have a huge platform and you think that you can just destroy me. But I'm taking my power back tonight. It stops tonight. The slandering of my name, the abuse, the control, the manipulation, the sexual abuse, I'm putting a stop to it tonight. So you can continue to pretend to be who you are, but I know the truth. And I'm not keeping any secrets anymore. I'm not protecting anymore. Now it's time for me to protect myself. Protect myself and make back up with my family and my friends that I've cut all ties with to hide this secret. So moving forward, I definitely don't want to speak about it again. I definitely don't want to keep reliving what I've been going through the past couple of years. I just ask that you guys respect what I've been through and um, I'm not going into hiding like I did the last time. The last time that I left, there was a huge bashing on social media about me. We're not doing that anymore because I know the truth and I know why I left every time that I did. So moving forward, I pray that you guys respect my process and my healing journey because I've been through a whole lot. And there's a whole lot of things being said that's not true. And this is the truth. This is what I've been going through. So this was definitely heavy for me to come on here and say uh, on my Women Wednesday. Um, I'm not going to continue, you know, with our regular chat. We'll probably pick it up next Wednesday. I really just wanted to. I just really wanted to clear clear my my heart and get that weight lifted off of me because people think that they can do whatever to you because they're powerful and they are popular and I'm just a regular Brooklyn girl and I'm not taking that anymore. So the abuse stops tonight and I'm taking my power back tonight and I'm on a journey of healing and I feel good and I feel stronger than I did in years. So with that being said, blessings to everyone. Um, <laughs> don't believe everything you hear because it's not true. People will definitely try to spin things and manipulate you. And that's what has been done to me. And I was a pretty strong-minded person before all of this started. And I, I didn't think that it could happen to me, but it can happen. So, um... I just ask that if you choose to stay on my page, follow me, that you respect what I'm what I'm going through or what I've been through. I've always been really private. I opened up my page to let people in. That was hard. This was hard for me to come out and say that I've been in an abusive relationship for years, that I pretend to be happy. I put on a smile, that I faked it. I treated my family bad in order to hide it. I'm ashamed of that. So I got healing to do and I'm excited about that. And I'm not going to be ashamed about what I've been through. I'm not going to be ashamed. So blessings, guys. I appreciate you. Love and light. I'm on a healing journey. And um, 
I hope you're excited to watch because it's Letitia now, guys. Thank you, guys. Love you. Pray for me.